hello, it's Anna, um, and right now I'm just going to be showing you my color process. This is um, a commission that I did for someone, and uh, what I'm doing right now basically is putting a border around it. You don't have to do this, but I've found that lately it's really convenient for me um, because whenever I go to color the actual piece, all I have to do is select inside the contours of this border and um, I won't get any of the color outside. Um, and that's really convenient for me because I never learned how to color inside the lines. So, there we go. Um, and uh, what you'll see me do in just a minute is use the selection tool, uh, making sure all the lines are bold and there are no spaces between them. I use the selection tool to select all inside there. Um, and then I lay down the colors that are on the bottom, the very bottom first. So the skin is pretty much the lowest layer that I will use. The hair, their hair, their brother and sister, so their hair is almost the same color. I keep that on the same layer too. You see this uh, pinkish kind of tone and then you see a uh, purplish, um, which is what I use. I use um, just the regular pen tool um, and I do kind of cell shade, not necessarily cell shade, but um, you know, just put down the basic, basic outline, bottom flat color, and um, then afterwards I blend it. Um, it's a lot easier to do that because, like I said, then you can select the actual color or the outline, contour, whatever, and uh, then afterwards you, you can shade it. Right now I'm doing her, the girl's, um, I guess, outfit. And like I said, I use uh, the color that, I use like a bold color and just do that first. Um, is, so I use all the same color on the same layer. So I don't get confused and I don't have that many layers. Um, and uh, the first lines that you saw me put down were just to make sure exactly where the color would go. Because sometimes I get confused. Uh, even though I drew it myself. <laughs> so yes. Um... And then afterwards, right, I just start on his um, outfit. This is, I can select uh, whatever place that I don't want to be colored. And after I select it, I go back to the layer that actually had whatever color is on there. And I erase it all from inside whatever that I, I needed. That's why layers are good. Um, some people don't use layers. I use layers. I like layers. Layers are my friend, um, especially when I'm trying to do something really quick um, because I don't know necessarily how to make everything look as good as it should without layers. Yes. So here I'm doing his uh, sleeves, the brother's sleeves. Um, you see that everything is a very bold, very different color than the things around it. Um, this is for a reason, because, first of all, these are very colorful characters. Second of all, because um, I like to color stuff really, I guess, uh, contrasty, sort of. Yeah. So here what you see me, here what you saw me do was I laid down the basic skin tone. I put it in the shadows. I put it in the medium shadow for the skin tone, and I just shaded it with a water tool. That's all I did. And then I went back with the medium color between those two colors, um, and I blended it in even more. I don't really blend all that much. I just go over it maybe once or twice, and you see this uh, very nice contrast in the skin tone. I go over it, I outline it in the lightest tone um, for highlights, and uh, then I do the eyes and everything. I try to do... Everything that I consider, I guess, skin, fleshy kind of stuff, on the same layer. So, uh, the tongue, lips, nose, eyes, I do all that on the same layer. Um, for the shinies on the lips, the highlights on the lips and tongue, I use the same, I use the lightest layer that I use for the skin. Um, 
just to make it look a little bit more natural instead of um it looking like super shiny and you're like why does that why does that person have lip gloss on I don't understand um and for the red of the lips and tongue I use the darkest color that I use for the skin and I just turn the color wheel just a little bit more towards red and that complements it a lot very much um so now I'm going for the hair I use almost the same as I did for the skin I take a a medium tone of whatever base color that I have I use that for the the shadows I blend it however I will and then I use the lightest color for that as uh, the highlight so if I want like the pink in his hair that pink is just I move the color a little bit closer towards white and it complements it a lot because it is it's still that particular color it's not the same tone or shade or tint um, but you see here for the purple I'm using a pink highlight for it this really works really well especially whenever you use a very you know darker color that is uh, like purple you know for this particular color combination because not only does it make the purples look dark dark it makes the pinks stand out even more because they're not the same color but they're similar enough to where you it tricks your eye into thinking it's shiny um, and here what you see me doing is I'm selecting a particular part of it because I already colored all that purple space uh, in the same I guess color all I have to do is change the color and change the tone of it so that's really that's why I made everything so bold and everything that's gonna be the same color the same color here I do the exact same thing with his shirt you see it's it started out as being a very light kind of a greenish bluish color I shadow it with a very deep green and then I highlight it with a very light blue but then whenever I change the color I changed it uh, the whole thing so that you know I don't have to bother with the shadows and everything now when you do that when you do that with white or black you have to be a little careful because colors don't react the same as white and black do so if you're doing something in white and black you have to do it in black and white you know um, instead of doing it in color and then changing it because you might have a red and a blue beside each other well red and blue when you turn them to black and white sometimes they look like the same color not because it's a whole bunch of like science and art and crap that goes into it as to why that is but just understand that colors don't react the same as they do in um, white and black um, and here you see his belt it was a very bold very bold blue or whatever um, I did that because I knew it was going to be colorful so then I could just change whatever the color was for his sleeves they are very um, contrasted because I just I really like that it was going to be really colorful and I highlighted it in a complementary color um, so that it can have so much contrast but his jeans don't have that much his jeans are you know they're blue jean materials so there's not that much contrast but they are dark so that's basically my color process yeah see you guys thanks for watching <laughs>